In this video, we are going to reverse engineer an API. If there is no documentation available or there is no documentation for an API, this is a crucial step of finding how the API works. So today's target is Instagram. You can also try this on any bug bounty program and there is a higher chance of getting a bounty because not every people try their skills on API bug hunting. But always consider and check if API comes under the scope. Then let's hop in. First of all, install MITM proxy in your computer. I have given a step by step guide on how to install it in Linux. I will provide the link to this blog in my description. So after installing, just go to your site, then turn on MITM web. Then use your foxy proxy to route the traffic through 8080 port. Then just load your website where you want to reverse the API and create an account and use the site as a normal user like create an account, log into your account. Then check if the traffic is going through your MITM web. OK. Now use this site in the way how a normal user would and go through all the functionalities. Like editing profile, give something in bio. Change the profile photo. After you have gone through all the functionalities, go to MITM proxy and go to your file and save. Turn off your foxy proxy. And save the file. OK. Now install MATM proxy to Swagger. Then come to your terminal and type in these commands. This is a blog I have been writing on reverse engineering API and reconnaissance. I will be releasing it soon. So typing this command MITM proxy to Swagger and specify the flows file and the output file. Then the URL in this case Instagram and then the flow specify it's a flow file okay now click enter now take a notepad press the file name spec.yaml Okay, in the note part, remove this ignore. After removing ignore from every path containing an API, now save the file. And input the second command with this. examples now open swagger editor click the first link
Now import our file spec.yaml. As you can see, now all the requests are clearly visible. We can see what kind of requests went through and what response we got, what was the response code. This gives a clear idea on how the API works. This is how we reverse engineer an API. There is also one more method using Postman and routing the traffic through Postman. It will take a lot of time but it's also worth a while to check. I will include that in my medium post. This is my channel and here is all the links to my medium account, my LinkedIn account and my Twitter handle and also my blogger handle. You can follow if you like. So this is the second video on API bug hunting. I will be releasing more video on API bug hunting in the coming weeks.